Basically, I'm calling the Irish stimulator because it's tied for the Irish locks. Now, this is a size 10 B175. Now, the thread I'm using is a Uni 80 in black. Now, I'm running it down the full length of the shank until I'm in line with the bar by the hook. Remove the waist piece. And I'm going to form a tag of the fly. And now, you could use a fluorescent red flush or so. Or in this case, I'm going to use uh, as a medium red holographic tinsel. Now, what I do is get around the bend of the hook a good two or three mil, and then bring the thread back up, catching in the red holographic. And then to protect this, I'm going to wind it over some super glue. Just a light coating of super glue onto the thread, and then wind over the top wind up. It'll instantly stick and make it obviously a lot stronger and it should last a few fish before it starts to disintegrate. But to be honest with you, it actually lasts quite well. Tail, I'm going to use some natural pheasant tail. You could use a dyed red which works in this same pattern but I'm going to stick to the natural brown. Now all you do is Bring the fibres 90 degrees from the stem of the pheasant tail. You're looking for a good half a dozen or so fibres. If you bring it 90 degrees, they say you'll tips will line up for you, tear it off. You want the tail to be the length of the hook, just over the back, just tie it down. Now, the body is going to be approximately two thirds of shank or so, which is there. Now just throw this tail a wee bit. There we are. There's your tail. Pull together a wee bit in the water. The rib, if you could use a red wire rib or so. In this case I'm going to use a, a gold oval tinsel. You catch that on the side as well, full length of the, the body. And then quickly take your thread up and back down. Tying in tail fibres or the waist piece of the pheasant tail and your rib. The body could be a nice medium claret, the dark claret as well. Any of the two. I'm just going to go with the medium. Double into your thread. Now it seals for I'm using. You could use a synthetic fibre, it's not to yourself. Do a turn to the back just to get it started. And then take your seals for up. Every so often, just tighten up, it's a wee twist as you go to get to that point there and then remove the excess. Quite easy to do. Body hackle, it's a nice, this is quite to the darker side, just slightly, it's got a ready claret, it's a lovely colour. It's a saddle hackle, it's a Met Saddle Grade 2 I'm using. Two or three turns to hold and fold back the stem and break this off. It's nice and tight that, really strong. And then wind it down. You're probably looking for four tons, around about that, four to five tons. And then bring your rib up through. Nice and tight. 45 tons. Now remove the hackle. The hackle point. You could wait till once you've done this, but I usually nick it off, I take it away. Just draw back anything going forward. The rib, just bring the rib up, then bring it across your thread. Make sure you're really nice and tight, tie that down, and trim away. Tidy up. Now, you could bring your velcro at this point, just bring out some of the seals for. So, watch your thread, you don't catch your thread with the velcro, you'll burst it if you do. There's an added attraction to the fly, and getting very popular now is adding some pheasant tail or knotted legs. This is pre-knotted legs that you can buy and uh, basically needing a good half a dozen or more. Now what I'm doing is you can even split these fibres down either side. Just sit them on. Just coming towards the end of the tail. Hold them. Come round with two or three turns. Tighten up. And then remove the excess. 
it is optional that, but uh, as I say, it's getting very popular now, so certainly worth worth having a go with it. Once you've done this, now another added attraction, and like any, a lot of the Irish patterns, they are really well dressed, a lot of materials on them, but just enough to give a hint of colour. This is a Kingfisher Blue Chinese cock hackle. Two or three turns down, two or three turns back up. This just adds a wee bit of colour. Blue is great on claret, orange, these sort of colours work extremely well. Now, I'm doing like a turn and a half round there, that's all you need. Come across the thread, and again, tuck it back. Nice and tight, and then break this off. Always keep the thread tight when you do that. For the wing, I'm just using, this is some deer hair dyed claret. You could use a brown, which would work, or a, a natural brown, or a dyed brown. Now I'm going to stack it, just into your stacker. Tap on your desk, just to line up the tips. Before you stack it, make sure that you remove the fine fluff from the, the bottom. Wing length is really the length of the tail, so that's the wing. To give you an idea and a measure. Just hold it. Finger and thumb, take away the excess. Catch it on the top. What I do is pinch and loop it down and then back up. I want to try and catch these ends in. Nice and tight. Take the thread up, take it back. And lower it slightly. Just by pulling it forward and back. Now, another thing I like to do is, and this pattern worked extremely well, so we added a tiny bit of uh, natural just bronze mallard. Just lay it light on the top, it's a nice mix. Just lay it just there, and then tighten up. Just lay it flat, pull it from the feather, just a few fibres. It just adds a bit of colour to the, to the fly, keeps it within the Irish like traditional flies or dabbler style that work. As you see, it just looks really nice and fishy. Most people would think it was overdressed, but not in Ireland it's not. Now I've got a dyed badger here, dyed hot orange. It's quite a short fibre, not too long. I'm going to catch it on the side. It's a saddle cock hackle I've got, it's a grade 2 mets again. Now I'm just tidying up this area here. There's a good 3 or 4 mil there. Now you can add orange, which works extremely well, or red. Now I'm going to add the orange. Just adds a wee bit more to the colour. Red works. Just always slightly lighten the colour at the front with the seals fur. And then take it down. Best way you can, just zigzag it down, tidy up. You don't have to be too fussy with that. Because when you bring the hackle through, nice and tight, you can really tidy up. Right to the, the eye of the hook, two or three turns in, and again, just anything going forward with the eye, draw it back with your finger and thumb, just draw it back, put tons of hackle in front. And tidy up. Forget the hackle and everything just now. Straight in and white finish. Three, four times. Come away. And come in. All we have to do now. Quick varnish round about. All the way around. Now as I say, the stimulator is very popular in Ireland in all colours. This is only one of the many variants.